Singles Inferno Season 3, a popular Korean dating show on Netflix, had a surprising and dramatic finale. Undoubtedly, this season has fans on the edge of their seats due to its ups and downs. This season especially brings a shock with four final couples being confirmed. Aren't you curious to how they turn out after the show? The show features 12 contestants on a deserted island called Inferno, where they compete through challenges to form couples. Once the contestants are paired, they go to Paradise, a luxury hotel, to get to know each other. The panelists, including comedian Hong Jin Kyung, actress Lee Da Hee, Super Junior member Ki Hyun, rapper Han Hate, and YouTuber Dex, who was on the previous season of Singles Inferno, provide commentary. The producer of Singles Inferno, Kim Na Hoon, mentioned in a Netflix interview that the cast stays in touch after leaving the island. They often interact on Instagram, indicating that they maintain both romantic and friendship connections, formed during their eight nights and nine days on the island. In this very season, new rules were introduced where the Inferno was divided into two and had its own set of contestants, which caused quite a lot of drama. However, in the last episode, four couples left the island, but four people stayed. If you are one of those fans who wonder where do the contestants go after the show ends, and what happens to the couples who start dating afterwards, don't worry, we have got you covered. The four couples that left for paradise as couples include and Min Young and Lee Jin, Sok, Yuri and Min Kyu, Si Yoon and Min Woo, and lastly everyone's favorite couple on the show, Lee Guan Hee and Choi Hai Sun. Let's start off with Min Young and Jin Sok, the married couple of singles Inferno. Just to clarify, they are not literally married, but they just gave off the vibe of a married couple. Min Young chose Jin Sok on the very first day of the show, and they both spent a cozy and nice time at Paradise inside the pool, where they showed us some steamy public display of affection, as Min Young got on Jin Sok's back and was swimming in the pool. It seemed like things got hotter for them in Singles Inferno. However, their downfall started happening when Min Young asked Jin Sok to chill and let her off the hook when she talks to other guys. Even though Jin Sok went all in for Min Young, it seemed like she didn't feel quite the same. However, things took a turn for good when Minji showed her interest in Jin Sok. He got swayed by Minji's playful charms to the extent of taking his revenge. Min Young had given four candies to four different male contestants, showing her interest in them which sparked something inside Jin Sok. Now, Jin Sok fell for Minji, but seeing Minji being double-minded about him, Jin Sok decided to go back to Min Young and win her over. That's how the two of them ended up together. After the Netflix finale, Jin Sok proudly shared a picture from his cafe on Instagram. He also posted a photo at a Singles Inferno watch party, standing with a young. Meanwhile, Min Young hasn't posted anything about their relationship on her Instagram. So it's a little hard to tell whether they are still together or not. However, in the final episode, Min Young thanked Jin Sok for taking care of her and expressed her wish for him to bake her bread in his bakery, calling their time together an actual inferno. Let's move to the next couple, Si Yoon and Min Woo, who went along quite well but unfortunately the two of them didn't have enough time to talk much together due to two reasons. One of them being that they had different infernos and the second one being Giri who stepped in between them by swaying Min Woo. Min Woo also got hesitant with Giri on their date in Paradise, however. He realized his feelings for Si Yoon and how he feels more comfortable with her. On choosing Si Yoon, Juri was quite mad at Min Woo, which led to another couple being formed in Singles Inferno. As for Si Yoon and Min Woo, their current relationship status remains unknown. However, Min Woo's Instagram activity, sharing fan edits of the Endgame couple, has led fans to speculate that they might still be together. The couple received positive attention from the panelists during their time on Inferno with sweet exchanges like you look like a princess and then you're my prince. Up next, we've got one of those couples who got what they wanted. These contestants are Juri and Minkyu. The female contestant chose Min Kyu, believing he was a reliable man, and during their departure from Inferno, Min Kyu promised to get her plenty of blueberry pies, expressing his willingness to provide them until she couldn't eat anymore. But as of now, it's uncertain whether Giri and Min Kyu from Singles Inferno Season 3 are still together. There are no posted pictures of each other on their Instagram accounts, and they do not follow each other. And last, but certainly not the least, we have our most sought-after couple, 
Kwon Hee and Choi Hai Sun, both contestants from the same inferno who not only chose each other at the very first day of the show, they ended up picking each other on the very last day as well. So, it's good to see how they both meant that they won't change their minds till the very end. However, let's not forget that Guan He sparked quite a lot of controversy with his immature tactics of rizzing women with his charms. Despite being a professional NBA player, Guan He seems like an ordinary playboy who plays with the hearts of women and not basketball. This contestant in particular carried the whole show over his shoulders by making things even more entertaining. At first, Guan He showed his interest in Hai Sun, which is totally understandable. But after leaving the paradise, he went to the other inferno because of a newly added rule. On this very island, he met Ha Zhang from another inferno who seemed to have won his heart instantly. Guan He couldn't resist her charm and the teasing tension between each other. In fact, they got a chance to go to paradise together, and both of them seemed to have a fun time. But Ha Zhang on returning from paradise made Guan He quite pissed by not showing any interest in him when other contestants asked how her time was in paradise. It was definitely a turn off for Guan He to the extent of him being angry at her. He got curious about other ladies including Giri who showed little to no interest in him. It was that moment when all the female contestants figured out his playboyish side. Ha Zhang got frustrated as she started to develop authentic feelings for Guan He, so she scolded him in his cabin too. The two of them had a little argument, but Guan He apologized to her for acting immaturely. The very next day, a new participant made her entrance, who was Minji, a very fierce and feisty lady who had a playful side to her. She won Guan He's heart, and the two of them went to paradise as well. Yes, Guan He was the man of the show who went to paradise back to back. The two of them had a pretty decent time at the hotel, but Minji turned out to be a bigger player. She showed her interest in Lee Jin Sok at first, but then got her eyes on Guan He. It was as if she's stealing every female contestant's potential lovers. However, at the very last episode, Guan He realized the bitter truth and his immature acts, which convinced him to choose Hai Sun. But are the two of them still together even after the show's completion? Hai Sun follows Guan He on Instagram, but Guan He doesn't? What could this mean? Well, as a well known basketball player, Guan He only follows three people and none of them are cast. However, the two of them were seen having a good time together, eating ramen on video call in Hai Sun's story on Instagram. And recently Lee Guan He has admitted that the two of them are getting along and are talking to each other which proves that they might be going out. Guan He also revealed that he can't share many details yet, but all of the contestants are in touch and getting along quite well. He also shared that he's careful to not reveal too much about him in Hai Sun. It's disheartening to discover that the remaining contestants couldn't find their perfect match on Singles Inferno Season 3. This season has indeed been one of the most intense and nerve-wracking ones. Now that the season has concluded, how do you feel about the matched couples? Are you satisfied with the current pairings? Or do you think there could have been better matches? Share your thoughts on the outcomes in the comments down below.